Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Clouds are very gradually rolling into West Michigan. Let's take you on a tour on our SkyCam network. We'll begin at Allendale Grand Valley's campus. We still do have shadows on the ground, so some sunshine making it through. But notice that the cloud cover is thickening up gradually as we head through the evening. We take you over to the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. Well, you can see that uh, more of the same. We have some high-level clouds, still some sunshine, though, so not a bad evening out there. And in Kalamazoo, it's still almost full sunshine, so it's really not until we get into the overnight hours tonight where we're expecting to see that cloud cover increase substantially and a little to no sunshine is expected for us during the day on Monday. Reason being, we have rain on the way, steady if not heavy at times, basically going to be a washout during the day on Monday, at least during the morning through early afternoon. It'll be cool with rain showers through Wednesday. We do carry the chance for some on Tuesday, a lesser chance on Wednesday. Temperatures remain stuck in the 60s, though. We do make a return to the 70s later in the week with plenty of sunshine. So second half of the week is looking tremendous. 73 now in Grand Rapids and in Hastings. 77 in Kalamazoo, where we do still have the sunshine. 70 in Holland and Muskegon. 67 in Ludington, where that cloud cover is winning over. Winds fairly light at about 5 to 10 miles per hour this evening. Calm in places like Battle Creek and Ionia. Storm Track Live shows dry conditions. A few white sprinkles in far northern Nuevo County moving toward Big Rapids, northern Macosta County. For the most part, though, we're dry. That's going to be changing as we head into the day on Monday. Reason being, yeah, this area of rain that is making some good progress across uh, the Midwest and will be on our doorstep close to the morning commute tomorrow. I'll show you a future cast. You can see that 6 a.m., that rain is crossing the lake. So places north of Muskegon, Montague will start to pick up on some of those showers, Pat Water, Ludington. This may be a bit slow. So we'll carry the chance for rain showers during that morning commute. But notice that by the noon hour, just about everyone will likely be seeing at least on and off showers. That continues through early afternoon before gradually tapering off through the evening. But even in the evening, we should still see at least some scattered shower activity. That last end of the day on Tuesday, uh, this model wants to back off the rain chances Tuesday, but we will carry the chance for some showers. Same thing for Wednesday morning. Here's a look at rainfall amounts through the end of the day tomorrow. Generally speaking, looks like anywhere from a tenth of an inch to as much as a half inch or more in some localized locations. So certainly a decent amount of rain for most folks. I think the majority of West Michigan will probably pick up close to two tenths, if not a bit more. Here's the latest on Hurricane Lee. Keep showing this to you. Category 3 at last check, moving at 8 miles per hour. This thing is crawling across the Atlantic Ocean. Winds of 120 miles per hour. Still anticipating that northward turn by the middle of next week, or this week, I should say. That will mean that it's likely going to miss landfall in the U.S. At least that's the way it's looking for now. Your 8-day forecast shows highs stuck in the 60s for tomorrow through Wednesday. Actually, through Thursday, but the difference is Thursday, we break out a lot of sunshine. That continues through the rest of the week with temperatures back up closer to where they should be this time of year. Average high in the mid-70s. So after a cool and dreary start to the week, looks like we'll make a return to some sunshine and warmer conditions by the end. Sounds good. We have two more weeks of summer left. So. Yeah, that's right. Got to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Blake.